Good evening, Tightliners, and welcome back to the channel. You find us tonight on a rockmark, um, very sheltered. Out of the wind, the wind is coming right over the top of our heads. Um, it is the second choice, really. We had a look at one of the mark and decided no way we're going down there. And uh, came here. So far, guys, I've got one bait in the water. I've got uh, a very simple three-way swivel with a 150-pound hook length, 40 pounds going down to the lead, and then linked onto the main line. On there, I got a whole sardine. a big uh, 7 -o hook, or 8 -o hook even. I'm going to set up another one now, see if I can find some smallest fish to put out as bait. I'm here with Kay. Hello. And uh, we're going to give it a go for a couple of hours and see what happens. It's not going to be a crazy long night tonight, I don't think. Um, not unless it really fishes well. But uh, it can produce pretty much anything here. Conkers, Huss, uh, Pollock. And I'd like to say there might be a chance of that coddling as long as there's bait in the water. Eels, yeah, just eels. Rockling, hopefully. Anyway. I saw set up a fella out of it with our kid all. Right, guys. Situation is at the moment is Kay's had one poor cut. I had one good fight earlier on the uh, big bay, and now I've got another one on here. I don't know whether you can see that. Top of the rods. But, uh, the last time. I took it too early. But it, it is that balance, isn't it? Of uh, how long do you give the fish? And if it's a meal, it might take you into its hiding hole. Not the easiest of places to manoeuvre around here, guys. Um, I do recommend that if you are coming down to a spot like this, that you make sure you have the appropriate footwear, plus having the studs on them, um, like I showed you in a short earlier in the week, 
That fish didn't want to come back, so I'll leave it there, just in case there's still enough bait on there. It's really cold tonight as well, guys. It's around about three degrees. That easterly wind is making the wind chill even colder. Anyway, I'll keep watching the rods. I like the door, I'll sort of over. Right guys, I had the fish up to the surface there now. Just a little boot lace of an eel and it just dropped off. So I think there's lots of little eels in there. But that means there could be a big eel in there. Mama eel might be in there too. Anyway, let's get baited up again. I see if we can actually land one. Not much a dig. She's just there. Yeah, turn around carefully. <laughs> Mr. P with his uh, with the first fish, eel. Yeah, I'll be scratching, Was it? Yeah, yeah. What I've done is I've put small bits of uh, squid and small bits of mackerel on. Okay, well, I need one. I need a, an eel for the one. So I'll just get my baits down there. Right, spot on. Hold on, mate. Right guys, so uh, I switched from using ragworm on the scratching rig and I put a little bit of squid, a little bit of mackerel. I think this one, oh yeah, 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 steady down you. Steady on you. That was a small piece of mackerel that was. Tiny scrap of mackerel. And there's my first fish landed tonight. A small eel. Proper wrapped itself around everything now as well. Anyway, hey, 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 come on now. I'll get you back now. Get him in the door, Juan. Slap it out. Hide. These are on little tiny hooks like that, guys. Strong hooks, though. I think they're the. Uh, uh, they're from Limitless, obviously, and they're the Chinos. Size 2 Chinu or something like that. Anyway. Get it unhooked. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll get a photograph of it like this. On here, be easier. Anyway, first fish in. Let's see if there's any more. No more to Taking a lot of line off your reel as he was uh, a bit of line that wasn't it as you were baiting up. Definitely dropped it, yeah. Right guys, just so far that one fish, that eel, but just now I had a hell of a run on uh, on a half a mackerel, came back absolutely smashed, whatever it was, just completely dropped it. Taking line off the reel and everything. Um, no. Right, 
We'll keep trying. Coming up to 11 o'clock now. Maybe fish for another half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and see what we do then. Right, let's get some lights back up on the, the tips there. Let's see if you can see them for a bit. I don't know, can you see the tips? I can't tell if you can see or not. I'm going to say that I even settled for a dogfish now just to add something to the specimen hunt. Still not the dogfish? No. <laughs> yeah, fish the pre quarter, 44 fish and not one single dog. Anyway, guys, I get back onto this and hopefully get something for the specimen hunt. Really, really like to see a three peated rocklin. I haven't seen one for a while. Right guys, time to go big or go home. That's a bluey and squid wrap. Anyway, let me show you this rig again. I showed you it in the oh, in one of the other videos not so long ago when I caught that conger in the straits. Very simple, three-way swivel, main line attached to the 40 pound line attached to the lead. 150 pound line attached to the hook and now a big bait hoping I can get a big fish last chance saloon we're coming to the end of the session really very slow very cold, cold. Um, a lot you know I think there's been quite a few well we've dro we've dropped a few fish um, had a few bites but there's lots and lots of small eels in there I think Hopefully this one will attract one of the big ones. I saw sort of a lurking doll. Right guys, the other rig that I was using today was a very, very simple um, rough ground three hook scratcher. Basically make loops in the line, the heavy line, and then just attach your hook length to the loop. Um, no messing around with crimps and beads and all sorts of things because, uh, yeah, it is very rough ground out there. And then I know I've had people say that these upturned Gemini's don't work, but that one just did. Just pulled that out now with the lost the lead. So, anyway. They're the rigs that I was using tonight. This is the one that caught the conger, the scratching one, and I dropped one on the other one. But that one's still in there with that big bait, so we never know what could happen there. Right, I'll get watching that one again now, guys. So, uh, if I speak to you again here, it'll mean that we've caught the fish again. But if not, I'll speak to you at the car. Namakadi. Right guys, like you can see, we're back at the car, Freezing. so that meant that we had no further action. Um, it was a weird one tonight, there was plenty of bites, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there was. Um, early on, anyway, there was plenty of bites. Um, had some couple of clonker bites, and uh, nothing come of them. I dropped a nice fish on that last one. Oh, you did? Felt a couple of pulls, and then it, it was off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nice to be back out on the rocks either way, but... Yeah. <laughs> That was cold. Uh, <laughs> I know I dropped a strap on the surface and then got that other one on the scratching rig and you yeah. had that one po uh, poor cut. Yeah, yeah. And that was it really, landed fish. Back out as bait and that didn't get a 
Didn't get sniffed, did no. it? Strange. And Joey's with what I got the, uh, yeah. the interest I was, on. Yeah, I had mine on macro, well, macro bit. Unbelievable. Um, typical that, isn't it? You put scratch and rig, oops. You put scratch and rig out to try and catch small fish or to try and catch a variety of fish and then you get the one that you want on the big <laughs> one. Uh, anyway. At least you caught one. Yeah. Anyway, there is a match on Friday, guys. Um, Winnie's Worms match. Supposed to be down on um, Penrose Beach. Not quite sure what time the meeting is. I think back to half six, I think. It's yeah. Like half six kick Anyway, off. keep an eye out on Winnie's uh, page for that one, if you fancy doing it. Yeah. Um, we may be out before then, anyway. It's Tuesday today. Yeah, there's a couple of there's, nights. So. There's a chance that we could get out again. i got plenty of bait. I've got some um, worm left in the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys. So until the next time, keep your lines tight. <laughs>